Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, where we celebrate the memorial of St. Martin de Porras. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take the moment to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. Our first psalm is Psalm 85, entitled, Our Salvation is Near. O Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Our misery is known to us. May no evil desires prevail over us, for your glory and love dwell in our hearts. Lord, you have blessed your land. You have forgiven the sins of your people. My soul has yearned for you in the night, and as morning breaks, I watch for your coming. Our canticle is taken from Isaiah, and it is entitled, Him After the Defeat of the Enemy. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of just is smooth. The path of just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you met out peace to us. For it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My soul has yearned for you in the night, and as morning breaks, I watch for your coming. Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. Our second psalm is Psalm 67, entitled, People of all nations will worship the Lord. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exalt, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. Lord, let the light of your face shine upon us. 
Our reading is taken from the first letter of St. John. We have seen for ourselves and can testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. When anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. This morning, blessed among us is St. Martin de Porres, whose memorial we celebrate. He was a Dominican lay brother from 1579 to 1639. Martin de Porres was born in Lima, Peru, the illegitimate son of a Spanish nobleman and a free black woman. His father refused to recognize his mulatto child. When Martin was 15, he applied to enter a Dominican monastery as a lay helper and was assigned such menial tasks as sweeping the cloister and cleaning the latrines. Despite his extreme humility, Martin could not long disguise his talents and abilities, particularly in the field of medicine and nursing. Soon he was put in charge of the monastery infirmary, where his knowledge of herbal remedies was apparently and supplemented by miraculous powers to heal by his mere touch or presence. Martin's charity toward the poor and homeless was legendary. He cared for the sick and injured wherever he found them, often carrying them to his cell to lay them in his own bed. He treated sick animals with whom he could apparently communicate with the same devotion he extended to humans. On both the natural and moral planes, Martin seemed to exceed the limits of the possible. This included his extreme asceticism. He took upon himself the sins of his age, slavery, the scorn heaped on Indians, the oppression of the poor. Pope John XXIII named Martin patron of all who work for justice. This is a quote from St. Martin de Porres. Compassion is preferable to cleanliness. With a little soap, I can easily clean my bed covers, but even with a torrent of tears, I would never wash from my soul the stain that my harshness towards the unfortunate would create. Our responsory, blessed is the man who is found without fault, who does not make gold his life's object, who does not put his trust in wealth. His future will be secure in the Lord. Who is this man that we may praise him? For he has done wonders in his life. His future will be secured in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, for he has set all nations free. He has called us out of darkness into his own wonderful light. Our Canticle of Zachariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has set all nations free. He has called us out of darkness into his own wonderful light. Our response to our intercessions this morning is, Hear us, O God. God of peace, you invite all who are weary to find rest in you. In trust, we pray, hear us, O God. Pour your spirit upon all who seek public office and transform by your grace all who serve in positions of leadership. In trust we pray, hear us, O God. Unite leaders and citizens of every nation in efforts to stop violence, address poverty, and reverse climate change. In trust we pray, hear us, O God. Break the bonds of prejudice, greed, and entitlement that breed hatred, deceit, and injustice. In trust, trust we pray, hear us, O God. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, ministers, our parish staff, 
for all those of you who donate your time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be sick or have passed away. In trust, we pray, hear us, O God. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer to Jesus for healing and guidance during our COVID-19 epidemic. Jesus, Son of God, you were sent by the Father to bear our weakness. Be with us in this time of crisis. Merciful Savior, heal and comfort the sick, so that with health restored they may give you praise. Divine Physician, accompany our caregivers so that serving with patience they may heal wisely. Eternal Wisdom, guide our leaders so that seeking remedies they may follow your light. Christ, the Anointed, protect us in body and spirit so that freed from harm we may be delivered from all affliction who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, you led Martin de Porras by a life of humility to eternal glory. May we follow his example and be exalted with him in the kingdom of heaven. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the goodness of God be known in every land and inscribed on every heart through Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed and safe election day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.